The story of Mr. Beast has become a cultural phenomenon, revealing more about our collective values than about him as an individual. A man celebrated for his grand acts of charity now faces allegations ranging from workplace issues to fostering a problematic environment. It's worth asking, does his generosity overshadow the concerns raised about how he got there? The internet has elevated Jimmy Donaldson into a symbol of goodwill, curing blindness, giving away millions, and shaping the content many of us grew up watching. But reports of overworked employees, questionable hires, and a high-pressure work culture suggest a more complicated reality. Yet, the response has been muted, no statement, no acknowledgement. It feels as though he's waiting for it all to fade. Mr. Beast's brand thrives on performative generosity, blending philanthropy with entertainment. Yes, he's done meaningful things like paying for surgeries and donating cars, but who truly benefits the recipients or the brand pulling in millions of views? And let's not ignore that much of his audience, young and impressionable, might not fully understand these complexities. To them, he's still the guy planting trees and handing out cash. Despite these concerns, his empire continues to grow. His latest video still racks up millions of views. Sponsors haven't left. It's a reminder that in the world of internet personalities, being too big to fail often shields you from scrutiny. So where do we go from here? Should we hold creators accountable for the systems behind their success? Can we appreciate their positive impacts while addressing the areas that need improvement? Or will we, as usual, move on to the next story and forget this one? One thing is certain, the narrative of Jimmy Donaldson as an untouchable symbol of altruism is far more complicated than it appears. Share this video with someone who might find this conversation important. It's worth reflecting on the stories we celebrate and the realities behind them.